So this is my first pencil case. This is one of the main pencil cases that I take with me to school. So it's just in this My Melody. It's a My Melody design and the color pastel, which is aesthetically pleasing. And I got this from Hong Kong like when I was in seventh grade. So it really lasts a long time. So let me just show you what's inside. So this is how it looks like. So let's go for the top pocket. I first have this ruler. It's a small 12 inch. No. Is it 12 inch? 6 inch ruler. I have this bookmark which is like a letter from my teacher so I won't let you see the back because it contains um, private information. This is just 0.5 lead for my mechanical pencil. Extra school ID card in case I lose the other one. This is like a bookmark from our CE teacher. <coughs> Sorry. As you can see. Okay, and then um, in here I just have the protractor, you know, for matte stuff. Um, I just have a piece of paper, like about for my school ebook. I have this cute sticker which I got from like a school, you know, there was like a festival in school have some money, emergency money, in case anything happens. Also money, just another coin, and it's 5 pesos. And this, I don't even know what's this. I think I'll just throw it away. So, over in this flap, um, I have this. This is a Muji mechanical pencil 0.5. I just like found it on the floor and people just said this is no one owns it so I adopted it because I like mechanical pencils and this is Muji. How could I say no? This is a MNG 0.38 millimeters in black. This is one of the normal pens I used for test and note taking. And just to be honest, the uh, ink doesn't dry up fast. I had to wait a whole good two hours before highlighting. So what I do is I write my notes in school and like go home and highlight them. So yeah. Um, this is my MNG ball pen. It's red and it's in oh. 0.5 you can't see it but like it's 0 0.5 and I just got this from an old ball pen I just put it there since the grip is very nice and then over here the main compartment where all of my other stuff so I normally put the top as my most needed pens so I'll show you this is my correction tape it's um it's a Mr. Whipper Plus. I don't even know how many meters this is, but I've been using it for since seventh grade, and I absolutely love it. Okay, next up, let's start. So first, this is another. This is like a unicorn pen. My sister just gave it to me. It's zero point thirty eight millimeters, also. So. It would look good for my MNG refillables, so yeah. Here is just a pilot pen, 0 0.5, I'll show you. Come on, focus! Okay. 
anyway, it just says here Zebra 0.5. So this is a Zebra 0.5 pen. And um, I got this from like a travel festival. Um, and uh, it says here Tokyo, Tokyo. So this is from the store that I just got in the travel festival. They gave it to me for free. Here is this one is the one I got from my school supply shopping vlog. If you watched it, if not, please go watch it. Um, this is also 0 0.38 millimeters and this is in black. And this is by the company Monami. Monami. Yeah, this one wanna focus. My camera doesn't like obey with me today. 0 0.38. Okay. Um, I have an eraser here. It's a Faber Castell. So I've been using it for one year now and it's still pretty big. Okay, so let's start. So I have a lot of Muji pens. So these I think are all of them. One, two, three, four. No wait, I'm missing one more. These are all of it. So these are all the Muji 0.5 pens. This is the light blue one, the light green one, the light purple, dark dark pink or magenta like turquoise or teal and orange so I got these all from Japan I normally buy the refillers every year but as seeing I have more of those that I just got from Japan and I haven't used them much yet and I like buying these kinds instead of like the one with caps because I tend to lose the caps and plus they have like a clip and a nice grip so these are the normally colors I bring and you can see it on my Instagram post that I use these on my notes. Next I have here is another emoji. This is the one I got from my Japan haul. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Um, this is the mechanical pencil 0.5 millimeters with a rubber grip and I absolutely adore this also. It's just really nice. And of course, I don't want to use the eraser. So, yeah. Okay, next is my collection of paper made. So I have like one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine out of the 12 colors. So I have one in dark, in the normal blue. I have one in light blue, I have one in green, I have one in purple, I have one in black, I have one in brown, I have one in pink, I have one in orange, and the light green. And I lost the red one, sadly. And the other colors, are, they all got used up. So, we'll leave it to that. Um, here I have a uni here. uni style fit the large one so like what I like is like about this you buy the case first and like you can buy the like refillables so the refillables I have here black green pink red and another black. So as you can see, I only have green, pink, and a bit of red left. Because I used all the black because they were really, really good. They don't smudge. But, you know, it's really expensive to buy the refills. Like one of them is almost like, it's like 90 pesos or almost a doll, $2. So it's really expensive rather than buying the, the other one, the MNG. But the uni style is really nice, so if I can go back to Japan and get these because they're like half the price there. I also have another one, and this is in a Mang Melody style. 
um, see if I can make it focus. So it can focus, but this is also a uni style fit. Here, uni style fit. And this only comes, I also bought the case itself. And the colors I have here are orange, red, blue. Wait, is it only three? Yeah, it's only, this one's only three. And yeah, they're the same as my other one. They're also 0 0.38. And we're almost done. Here, I have a Zebra Sarasa 0 0.5 clip. And um, my classmate just gave it to me because she doesn't use it. So I was thankful. And if you're wondering, it cost around 59.75 pesos, which is technically almost 60 pesos in here. But I've been saving it because the, I really love how it like it writes very nice. So I've been saving it a lot, but I only have like one fourth left. So rest in peace. In here, I have a Mongol pencil. It's an old one. I have it since sixth grade. Um, this is like my backups. This is like 0 0.5, but this is like my backup because it doesn't work too well. So in case I lose my Muji, this is like my backup. So it's very nice. It has a rubber grip and it has an eraser, but the the, the branch is faded, but it's from Mongol. And we're almost done. This is just another small white eraser that I used before my favorite pastel, but I lost it, but then I found it in my locker. It just like dropped on my locker since I told you in my last video that my locker was like just beneath these and they had like holes. So this is where I found my eraser. Um, second to the last, this is like a ball pen. It's a black ball pen. CD from CDR King. I got it because I needed a stylus in case we had drawing and stuff. So, yeah. Basic. It's only like 10 pesos. And I got another one so I can buy one big one. So, yeah. And lastly, this is from like a Christmas present. I got like three colors. Blue, black, and and it's also so rubber grip and the ink is also very nice it doesn't smudge but I only use this like in emergency because I also don't want the use of the ink and done that's what's inside my first pencil case and to be honest it's actually really sturdy and waterproof so I recommend you guys can get it and plus you can put it like your calcu here if it can fit but I normally with my calc in the other bag but it fits plus we have like a holder and a big storage so this is my main pencil case so this is my second pencil case that I bring to school this one's like the mama goma so my classmate just gave it to me as a present and like there's a holder you can like hold it like a bag so that's cute and the characters are also very cute. So, um, this is how it looks like in the inside. Yeah, so it's just all my extra highlighter stuff. So, let me show you what I've got. Ah, sorry. Um, so, first, I have the Sharpie highlighters, so I've got one in pink, one in yellow, one in purple, one in orange, one in green. And these are the smudge-free um, highlighters that we smudge a bit on my, on my MNG, so I won't call it smudge. Oh, it's a smear guard, yeah. I won't like call it like smear guard since it smudges. Um, but I've used this when I was in 10th grade and they lasted me for a year, which is pretty long since most highlighters lasted me like half a, half a year. And the fact that there's still ink, I'll be using this also for 11th grade. Um, next I have 
um, three of these snug liners. Um, my dad got it from Taiwan since it's cheaper. So this is the this is a blue one. I don't know what pack it was because he bought it separately. But if you don't know what a mild liner is, they would have like a highlighter type. Then they would have like a marker type. Oh, there's a smudge. Yeah. So this one's in blue, this one's in orange, and this one's in green. Or light green. I'm not sure. And next, my um, I've got this zebra pastel set also from my dad from Taiwan. So it's different. Um, they have the light pink, the light orange, the light yellow, the light green, the light blue, and this is different since this one looks darker. And I like about pastels that they're very light colored, so it doesn't like hurt the eye too much. So. Oh, I also forgot I have a blue sharpie, so it's like all in one pack. Like, I have the sharpie smear guard set. Next, um, I have is the Stabilo 0.88 pastel set. So, if you've seen my post, I was able to do like a swatch of this. And I really like it. I mean, I tried it with most of the highlighters. And by itself, it doesn't smudge. And that's what I like. It doesn't smudge. So I'm going to be using, using this like to annotate my notes. Like to mark it as important. Or to draw diagrams and stuff. So yeah. And this is a pack of... How many sets are these? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a pack of 8. Since I'm too broke to buy the 12 set. So I just got myself the 8. Um, lastly, what I have in here, this is the Stabilo Pen 68 pastel set also. And I think they, they, they have the same colors. Yeah. So the Pen 68 is like a highlighter type, except it doesn't like break a little and it's also smudge proof. I tried it. Um, you can use this for like highlighting or if you want to write, but it's more like a thicker, thicker compared to the... 0.88 but I like it. It's, I'm gonna use this for like my lettering and stuff and I don't I, I also got it because it's also pastel it's cute and this officially made me go broke so right now I'm a broke kid and that's all there's nothing in here so that's in what's in my pencil piece the second one this is the third pencil case, and this is a case made. Um, I got this from Walmart when I went to Canada since um, I needed one for the binder, but then I didn't get to use it since I, it's so heavy before. So I just made like a personal pencil case. They have one case in here, but I didn't use it. So I'll show you. This is the second one, and this is how it looks. So the first thing I have here is the blue. It has a tip so you can like squeeze or you have the bigger part where you can have more area to cover. So I just use this one since this part spills a lot but it's a lot of liquid. I've used it since 9th grade and it's only like halfway done. So I'll be using it again. Next I have is tape. This is from the brand sticky so yeah local brand so yeah they you know i don't even know this is like an emergency more some of my classmates ask for tape or in case i need to fix something i have tape and of course i have scissors i have scissors because you need scissors you don't know what's gonna happen in emergency and also you need scissors to cut the tape Unless you're strong and cut the tape by yourself. I got this. This is a pastel pink one and I've got this in from since sixth grade. So it's been a while and it's still pretty sharp. And that's it in this part. Now let's go to the last pocket. And a lot of stuff. 
So, let's see. I have this and I have two packs. These are like for the like notes part. Yeah. I don't know how to explain, but it's just like to put your notes. It's like, I don't know how to explain. Page flags. So I've got this, you know, I won this from a school's game. My classmate just gave me her since she doesn't need it. So, yeah, extra stationery. I got more page flags. This is 800 pieces, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 800 divided by 5. 160 pieces per color. This is from Daiso, and I only got this for like 80 pesos, almost a dollar. And it's actually cool. I haven't even used this yet. But I bought it last year and still haven't used it yet. I have a regular yellow notepad and I got it from the brand Stick Up by Delhi since your girl's too broke to buy sticky notes from you know from post-it. It's really expensive so you know just got the cheaper one. I have this is the page flags I've been using for almost one year and it's almost finished. So I'll be able to use the dye so so yeah and it's really cute here I have a very large one this one's is like more for math and science it's 41 pesos so this is one for writing more if you need to write more stuff so use a large one and the last thing I have here is a pink one which is a medium one so if you also need to write bigger stuff and paste it on notebooks can just use this and that's it my friends for this third pencil case um this one i didn't know if i should include this but oh well i'm gonna also use it this year technically this pencil case i don't bring to school i bring it for kumon you know the math the one who gives you extra training in math so yeah so um this is a small pencil case the one you can strap it on your notebook and it has like a strap to make it longer um this is a totoro one i got it from japan see i get so many things from japan i love japan too much for stationery um i got it from isetan japan yeah so i'll just be showing you what's inside so this is how it looks like from the inside this is a hello kitty eraser and it erases so well I actually have another one in case this one's finished and it actually lasts pretty long. Yeah. This one is a Disney pen mechanical pencil. It's like one of the best mechanical pencils in Japan, the design. It's just in Disney style. I wanted to get like one for Totoro and Harry Potter but like I have too much mechanical pencils. I already have like 30 in my pencil case and I have like two at home so this one's gonna add more this is um 0 0.5 so i got it like in the disneyland store yeah in takashimaya next up i got this another muji 0 0.5 i got it from taiwan when i was in fifth grade this is also 0 0.5 so it's just another muji i'm a muji addict Comment down below if you also emoji addict. Too many emoji stuff. Next, I have another mechanical pencil but from a hotel called Pullman since we stayed there overnight in somewhere in China. I don't remember but the plane that you fly from using China Southern, um, they gave us a free night. So naturally I got their pencil since it's really cool and it's 0 0.5. And they also gonna raise your top. Next, I got this big mechanical pencil. Um, I think this is the typical mechanical pencil um, you get when you go to Target and stuff since I normally see a lot of people from America and Canada getting the same type in packs. So this is 0 0.7, the only 0 0.7, and this was given to me by my friend for Christmas. So 
Thank you so much, friend. You know how much like, mechanical pencils I have. And last things I have are lead. This is 0 0.5. Please make 0 0.5. So it's just a few more. And then in case that one finishes, I got this one. 0 0.5 lead also. And that's what's in my fourth pencil case. So, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to never miss a notification. And comment down below um, what are your must-haves in a pencil case. And if you are ever like me, having four pencil cases for school, which is so extra. And also, comment down below. When do you guys go to school and what are you excited for? So to all those going back to school, I wish you the best of luck because by the time this video uploads, I would have been starting school. I start school on August 2, which is a Friday. Still annoyed by that fact, but we have to just accept that. That's the way it is. So I'll see you guys in my next video. So bye!